Hey there YouTubers, it's Dan Strong with Excel VBA is Fun. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Today we've got a question uh, I received in my inbox that said, Hey, how do you hide Excel while keeping a user form open? Um, how do you, you know, how do you have a user form displaying, but it doesn't look like really the Excel is the engine that's running your program? There's a way to do this. And I'm going to show you how to do it. There are some kinks that you have to work out. And um, so we're going to review those right now. So we're going to hit Alt F11 to go into the Visual Basic Editor, as we always do. Let's see, Alt F11. There we go. Uh, and we're going to create a new user form like this. It's a standard size and shape and everything. What we're going to do, let's just put a button, a simple button at the bottom. We're going to call it, we'll just say, Click Me. Okay. Right there. Now what this button we're going to need to have it do for the time being, and you'll probably have other things that you want to do, this button will bring um, the workbook back to being visible again. Because if you don't have something in there that, um, let's say if somebody hits, closes it or clicks a close button, then you pretty much have nothing. Um, so here's how to to do all that. Sorry I'm rambling here. I'm trying to formulate really how to explain this but uh, let's make a let's make a macro just a simple let's open up a new module and we're gonna name name the new macro procedure let's call it um, hide workbook hide WB okay so let's use application dot hide oh excuse me application dot visible equals false. By default, obviously the visible property is true because you can see the application right here. It's got all these tabs and windows and buttons. Please excuse my daughter screaming in the background. She's happy. Application.visible equals false. Now we have to have a backup plan. How do we get it to un or to be visible again? Well, that's where the user form comes in. So we know that our user form is named user form one. So user form one dot show right after the application becomes visible or invisible and when that user form is shown it'll pop up on the screen look something like this and you might have a bunch of things you might have a large user form that takes up half the screen and has a bunch of tabs and whatnot you guys know how to do that from my user form series if not check it out uh, but we're gonna click on this button here and double clicking on it in this mode obviously allows us to edit that command button one it's called command button one because we haven't changed the name of it uh, command button one dot underscore click here's the click event we're going to say when we click it we're going to take the application and we're gonna take the dot visible principle or property and it will equal true again some of you may have already guessed all this and then we'll take um, the user you could say user form one dot hide uh, since we are now within the user form it within the button within it we could just say me dot hide and that would be fine because me takes on whatever um, module or user form or container rather that you're using so me would now represent user form one no matter what this name was changed to let's try that out first let's save our workbook because you never know you always want to save so I'm gonna save it in my Dropbox folder that I share with all you wonderful people out there and um, there's my Dropbox basically and if you don't know about Dropbox it's wonderful here's my Excel VBA's fun shared workbooks okay we're gonna save it as a macro enabled workbook and we're going to call this one, what are we going to call it? Um, hide and unhide workbook, or no, uh, Excel. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm going to click save. And actually, right now, you'll see that it's syncing right here. Uh, I'm now uploading that file instantly to my Dropbox network and you can download it instantly if you have shared this folder then you'll instantly have that file in your folder on your computer without even thinking about it you'll have this file now it's a great program it's a free program click on my link in the description you'll get your own Dropbox account and it also links to all of my workbooks so okay let's try this out let's hit alt F8 
that's the run a certain macro. Let's click on the hide workbook macro. And I'm going to hit run or you can double click. I'll double click. Okay. So you see that Excel <coughs> is let's let me hide this too. Excel is nowhere to be found. It doesn't even look like any application is running except for this nice little form here. So uh, you see down here there's nothing going on. Crazy, right? So, but if I click this click me button, it will say application.visible equals true and for this user form to hide itself. Let's click it. Hey, what do you know? It worked. Hot diggity. Let's make a nice button now. Let's make a nice button. I'm going to uh, click on sheet 2 and sheet 3 by holding shift down. Right click and hit the D button. Yes, I want to delete them. We'll name this one uh, hide, unhide Excel. My goodness. Excel. And now we're going to insert. Let's go to shapes. Let's make a nice big button, real big and gaudy. And we're going to say click to hide Excel application. And now, of course, we're going to make that much larger. Whoops. Control A, select all. Bold. Make bigger, 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 bigger. Center, center. And now we'll go to the design tab. We'll make it shiny and wonderful. Let's use a red shiny button. Click the hide Excel application. Hot diggity. Now we'll right click on that button that we just made and we're going to assign the macro. Which one? The only one we have. The hide workbook macro. Now, whenever I click on it, it's going to do just that. I'm going to go ahead and save. So now you have that updated workbook. Now it has this red button. I'm going to click the button. Bam! So there's your user form or user forms. You can click your button and remember you're always going to want to have some kind of contingency plan to where uh, if you want Excel to ever unhide itself you want to have that written into the button. Alt F11 with me here. Let's go back to user form 1. Now the button here. What about if they accidentally or on purpose click this X button and then they're pretty much going to have to open up Task Manager and close out Excel themselves like this. They have to go to Microsoft Excel or any processes that say Excel.exe and end the process. And most users don't know how to do that, don't want to mess with all that technical crap, they just want a shiny button to do all the work. So what you want to do is at the end of your macro, you either want Excel to hide or you just want Excel to uh, dot save and then dot or close or whatever. You want to save it and close it and just have it be invisible the whole time perhaps. Perhaps you want to go into this workbook thing here and you want the workbook open event to have application.visible is false and user form one dot show. Perhaps at the begin when the workbook opens it'll pretty much only show that user form. So let's try that. Let's um, I'm going to close this entire workbook. I'm going to open up a new instance of Excel and I'm going to find that most recent file which is hide and unhide Excel. Now when it opens it's going to do its thing after I enable the content of course. BAM! It's hidden, it's invisible. When I click this, there it is. Now, what was I saying a moment ago? Alt F11 with me back into here. Another contingency plan that is a best practice for if you're going to venture out and do this is you need something you can, it's really hard to disable that red X the best thing to do is just to put a contingency within your code so double click with me either on the button or on the background and we'll go into the user form not the click not the we don't want to do something when the user form is clicked we want to do something when the user form is a thing called query close query close means whenever they hit that um, that X where they're trying to close the workbook or the user form down or if you have a button that says unload me or unload user form one or something to make it uh, go away and completely unload it from the memory either way you want to use the user form query close to catch it if somebody's trying to close it you can do something special with this code <coughs> In this instance, we want to, um, we want, we might want the uh, to do the same thing as if they hit the button whenever they X out, whenever they close out. So whenever they're trying to close it, we want to say application.visible equals true. 
So even if they exit out, it will still show. Let's do that now. Click here. Okay, I'm going to hide the, this. For all we know, Excel is now hidden. But, and oh, they didn't click the button. They decided, hey, I don't want this. I'm going to close out. But the query close is also going to catch it. And it will now show and let Excel be visible. So you got to plan for these contingencies. Otherwise, you're going to have a hard time. It'll be really hard to save your progress because if you're stuck, um, you have to close Excel from the task manager. And that kind of sucks. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope this helps somebody or a whole bunch of people. Really, I hope this helps thousands and millions of people. But anyway, thanks for watching and God bless you guys.